Hello there, and thanks for helping my students. I really appreciate that big time that you guys are in the tutoring center helping um, all the students, but in particular my students. So this is for sociology. My name is Professor Olson. I have a different class. Um, we use video games to uh, study. So each of my classes has a video game. One is for uh, marriage and family, and it's called Community Quest. And the other one is called Sociopia, and that's for Introduction to Sociology. That's the one that I'll be showing you guys today. Um, so my class is structured so all the units are um, laid out in Canvas. Uh, for example, um, let's talk about this module here, which is um, uh, Deviance. That's the, the topic for this chapter is Deviance. And so you have what the students do is they watch my lecture, which is online, usually, I have a lecture online, uh, read the chapter, and I have a reader, and I'll show you how they need to, how they can get that, play the quest in the game, and there's nine quests in the game, each quest goes to one of the units that we're learning, and then they take the write the log, and they get a log question at the end of each quest, uh, that's germane to the topic at hand, so at the end of the quest number two, the pit of enemy, they'll get a deviance question, asking about deviance in their life, and they need to integrate terms from the class. That's my big deal, is integrating terms and theories from class. Um, and then they take the quiz, then they go on to quest number three. So that's the progression for everything, okay? So to get to the games, um, you come over here, and this is the website they go to, gamifygames.org. They log in. I'm going to log in with my username and password. Um, and what they'll, what they buy the authentication key code that they register first, but they should have already done that on their own. And then they log in and here's the games. This one's Sociopia and it's for introduction to sociology. They can just click play game here. Um, and then the help files are right below it. Okay. So once they've gotten the key code, they have access to play the game and the help files. They also have access to the reader which is downloadable from, once they click play, the reader is downloadable in the bottom right-hand corner of the title screen. I'll show you that in a second when it pops up here. The game's loading right now. So in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see this download reader and text. They click on that, that's a link, and it downloads my reader as a PDF. Okay, so I'm gonna hit continue, not new game, because you don't need to see the in introduction to the game. It takes a little bit of time. Um, so the game is, like I said, nine quests. The goal in the game is to cure the, the Thorain, the xenophobic dragon. He's, he's a racist dragon, and you, you're supposed to cure him. Each quest, like I said, is uh, lines up with one of the course learning outcomes for my class. So you'll have, like I said, deviance, social movements, um, socialization. Um, you'll have uh, social class and strata. Uh, race and ethnicity, um, research methods, so on and so forth. So they line up with the CLOs um, for my course. And so let's just click on this one here. So these are the different file slots that, that I've been playing. And you'll see that the game, so you, they battle social injustice critters. So they battle um, critters that are social dysfunction. I, actually, we don't use injustice anymore. It's too politically charged. So they battle social dysfunction critters. And um, that's, that's, um, that's the goal, is to answer the questions right, because the more questions they get wrong, the stronger the social dysfunction critters get. And so you'll see this, this means they've completed three quests, right? Um, and so if you click on these, this is the Room of Progress. After they've completed a quest, they get sent to the Room of Progress, um, and that, that's how they go to the next quest. Uh, they click on the quest crystal, there's me, and my guy talks to you, um, and he'll ask you, what do you want to do? Do you want to see your progress report? Um, how do I report my progress report? All the directions are in the game, um, but like, how do I see my progress? And he'll say, you need to click on the bottom of the crystal, and we'll do that in a second. Um, but let's go click on these guys. At the end of each quest, they get a log question, right? So if they forget what their log question was in the room of progress when they come here, they can get a reminder. This is your first log question. Make sure to use the sociology worksheet. There's a separate worksheet that they have to answer their log questions on, and it's downloadable from Canvas. Yeah. What sort of career are you in, or are you interested in? How could studying sociology help you in this career? 325 to 350 words with four terms in bold and integrated. That means synthesized with their own personal thoughts and experiences. 
It's a very generic question, but I start off easy like that for the first. And then demands, you'll see, think of a recent time when you used informal negative sanctions in a social setting. To what active deviants were you responding? How were your sanctions, how did your sanctions affect the deviant person or persons? How did the sanction help maintain social control if it did? 325 words, four terms in bold and integrated. So you'll see, um, that's what they write. And that's where the rubber meets the road in my class is the writing at the end. Now they can get many right and wrong and, and I'll show you how that looks here. So display their progress. So this will display all of their progress. So they've gotten 13, or I have gotten 13 questions wrong. Um, so zero in uh, um, Compville, which is the mate August Comp, who's the first sociologist, recorded sociologist in the Western world. Um, pit of Anime, which is deviance, zero incorrect. Caverns of Complacency, which is social movements and social uh, mob um, mobilization. That um, I got 11 wrong. I was testing some stuff out. So I have a total of 13 incorrect. Um, it'll also tell the total time that students been playing. Um, I get reports on which ones they get wrong the most so that I can adjust things um, and, and so on and so forth. So they take a screenshot of this to show me that they've completed three quests. So now they get 45 points. I don't grade how many, uh, how many they get wrong and right um, in, this, in the game. That's a study guide for them. The quiz will, will show how they've retained the knowledge, um, the corresponding quiz, and the final, which is timed. Um, but my, um, but the logs are really where, like, uh, where the rubber meets the road. So go to the next quest. We've already displayed our progress. Now we're going to go to the next quest. Are you sure? Did you get a picture of, a of your, for your quest log? Yes, I got a picture. So we're going on to the next quest. And in the next quest, you will see that I come up and I introduce, this town will try actually, this is the uh, wizard that, that introduces the, challenge of this quest is the, <laughs> the CGI wizard here. I don't know why I'm having problems with the... Don't um... let this town irritate you with its incivility. Talk to everyone. Why there's a lag happening here? My connection slowed today. Try every door and everything. When all is lost, stop and get a drink of water. Hint, hint. <laughs> Okay, so this is uh, the verbs of incivility. So I do a unit on uh, the sociology of civility. It's their fourth quest. Now let's, let me go here and maybe I can pick a fight with a social injustice critter. Those are just directions. They get their, their quest log worksheet, which are uh, quest log directions, which they can open up and their items. So let's go to the menu and I'll show you how to do this. So you have this menu here, which has save. So we could save and we could save a file slot. And this saves in the cloud so they can play on any computer and come back. Um, you can use an item here, and these are the items they've collected um, so far, which isn't too many. Um, armor, all that kind of stuff. Um, game in if you want to end your game. What the skills that these guys have, like applet, what kind of skills um, do they have? Um, passioned reasons, one of the one of the magic spells they can use. Um, and then so um, that's for loading up another save that you've done. And then equip, if you if they picked up an item, uh, you can optimize um, what items they're they're where they're having. So for example, um, like let's look at Apple. She's a social activist, or they are a social activist. They have 175 hit points, 25 magic points. That's how many spells they can cast. It's the magic points, and these are the hit points that they have. That's how many times they can get questions wrong. Uh, or where the social injustice critters, like there's an algorithm in the game where the social injustice dysfunction critters um, will keep you honest. If you're missing too many questions wrong, the dysfunction critters get stronger and they will uh, they will you take you down. Um, okay, so options. This is, you know, if you want to have auto save on or off, random encounters, don't worry about that. Music, you can turn the audio off, on and off. There's a UI here, user interface for people that have, um, you know, hard of... Um, hearing or um, have eyesight issues. They, there's a lot of um, accessibility things here. You can adjust tons of things actually. So it's really, really neat. Same with the audio. So those are in the options menu. Um, okay, so let's go get, I think there's a, there's a, someone to pick a fight with up here, but let's go talk to this person. Um, so this person's in, is not being civil. I'm not sure why you're wasting my time, you low life scum, which is not, uh, but which is not an example of bullying behavior. So, you know, psychologically disruptive, intentional laziness, aggressive behavior, physically disruptive, all these things. So, um, we'll try that. Good. Keep talking to people. Um, 
And, and so these are the kind of questions that, that you need to get right. You get the answers by watching my video, watching my lecture video or um, playing, there we go. Um, or I'm sorry, watching my lecture video and reading the reader. So this is a, so here's what you can do. You can cure this social dysfunction critter, use magic against them, guard, whatever you'd like. Since I got that last question right, I probably cure this critter pretty quick. So it's asking me, what applet wants to do she's going or they are going first so i'm going to say cure the cynical skeleton is what the name of this one is and then let's have um let's have moby let's have moby use a heal and we will heal himself and then uh, let's have tirsa no let's not have tirsa to heal because you can just press escape to go back let's have her cure um the skeleton as well the cynical skeleton so that was a good cure there from applet Moby is going to heal themselves, and then Tirsa is going to get at, oh, that was an attack. That's Cynical Skeleton attacking. Hey, party was victorious. You got one experience point and 12 karma coins. You get karma coins in this. All right, so let's save. So you right click to always, you can right click or hit the hamburger menu to save. Come up here, hit save. Let's override this one. It'll tell you which is the newest one. We'll override that save slot. Um, and so that's the basic idea. Now there's videos in here where they get to meet Karl Marx, where they get to um, meet uh, Max Weber, uh, Howard Becker, uh, um, Irving Goffman. Uh, it just goes on and on and on. Um, they, they get to meet all these so famous sociologists. The next iteration, they're going to be able to interact with them as, a, as an AI NPC, which is going to be really wild and really great. I'm working on the data sets for that right now. But that's the basic play for the game. Um, it's one of the things that's, um, that happens a lot of the times is students need to save a lot. The other thing too is, um, let's see, is anybody, did anybody get hit? Okay, so like after this battle, um, Applet took five hit point damage and so did Tirsa. Um, students sometimes forget they need to heal themselves, even though I tell them a million times. And um, so they'll perish. Um, and so that's not good. <laughs> so that's one of the things I have to tell them uh, to do. The other thing too is uh, if they get questions wrong, those social dysfunction critters get really strong. All right. So, oh, that door is locked. Maybe come back at another time. So it's kind of a scavenger hunt here. And they're um, looking to track down all the people in this town and find the internet troll. That was part of the quest directions that I kind of skipped over real quick to give you these instructions. So they, yep, it got transported to a different room. Here's someone else to talk to. Oh, actually, this is a battle. These guys are, let's just cure these guys. They're antagonizers. <laughs> so this is the instability chapter. And you'll notice that I anthropomorphize, or I don't anthropomorphize. These are, these are not human um, uh, injustice or dysfunction. Uh, they're critters. And... Um, so, um, you know, I try to keep all these, this apolitical and you don't want a representation of, of a dysfunctional being, being, um, being characterized as a person, right? So, uh, anyway, so, so all of that's really, uh, well thought out, but, um, so yeah, wow, we failed on because we're getting questions, right? So this person's going to ask us a question, but I don't want to talk to them right now. I want to go into a room so you can see what that looks like. So here's a room. Um, and you talk to people, you so solve riddles, you um, scavenger hunt, um, you solve problems in the town, and that's what it helps you uh, move ahead and go further. A lot of the times there'll be hidden items around that they click on. They don't know if there's secret surprises that give them abilities, armor. Um, I'm integrating now one where there's a, a hot air balloon <laughs> that takes you to a secret island. Um, so all kinds of wonderful, adventurous, um, types of things. They can replay the quests if they want, if they get a bad score in one of the quests, they can replay it. Um, and, um, the game usually lasts about anywhere fast students get it done in about 40 hours. It's very, very deep. Um, students that struggle with the game, 10, maybe close to a hundred hours. Um, so it averages out a, about where it needs to be. Uh, for the current units for the class um, But yeah, okay, that's the basic play gameplay. That's what the game looks like um, Remember where you can get your reader. Let's go to the game title. Whoops. I got to Get out of that. Let's go to game in go to the title screen. They download the, re the reader one time I created this reader specially designed it for my class. Um, I utilized um, Sociology 3e uh, OpenStax 
but have changed it tremendously uh, to fit the needs of, of my class. Still loading up here. I don't know why are my connection so slow today? Uh, but you know, I've written chapters in here uh, for incivility, social network analysis, which is something that I'm really shifting to right now instead of talking about groups. By the way, if you're tutoring, um, you need to know that I talk about social networks as a predictor of behavior, a, deter a determinant of behavior rather than groups. Groups are very antiquated in sociology. We don't talk about groupings of people. We talk about their social networks. Um, so you can see that all these have links that go to the chapter. Um, so it says Quest 1 Compville. This is, you know, the history of sociology, introduction to sociology. Pitted 2 Anime, which is deviance. Cabins of Complacency, which is social movements. Verbs of Incivility, which is incivility or a civility. Conjecture 10, which is uh, sociological research, research methods. Um, ethics, all of that. Health and medicine is another one that I topic uh, I cover in class. Um, it it uh, uh, the determinants of wellness uh, and socioeconomic status uh, with regard to wellness um, and lipomandia that kind of fits in with quest number six. So that's health medicine and uh, food behavior, which is um, what I studied and, and I'd share that with the students. Uh, Pueblo partiality, which is cognitive bias and from a sociological perspective. Um, and uh, which is wonderful to do, especially in this day, day and age, I feel. Ship of vertical mobility, which is social class, stratification, um, and um, global inequity. Um, that's what they mean, Karl Marx. Uh, Mount Zeno, uh, this is race, ethnicity, minority groups, uh, prejudice, discrimination, racism. What's the difference between ancestry, heritage, race, um, uh, um, uh, and, and biology? Uh, and then well, there's no quest, but I do a culture uh, and it kind of works some um, uh, socialization, uh, primary, secondary socialization, tertiary socialization, that kind of stuff into here. Okay, so this is the reader that they need. Um, and um, it's, like I said, some of these chapters I wrote myself and some of them were edited um, and rewritten from Sociology 3E OpenStax. Okay. All right, so that's the basics of the class. Um, yeah, uh, if you have any questions, always feel free to email me. Thank you very, very kindly for helping the students. Um, a lot of the students that have issues are re-entry students or older students who have, it's a, di it's a much different way, it's a playful way of learning and um, there's older students tend to, tend to be a little bit more, uh, I, I wouldn't, serious, I guess, maybe, or, and also kind of, let, there's some Luddites in there that are a little scared of technology and new ways of learning. Um, so emotionally, they're fighting against it. Um, but then a lot of those ones that are emotionally fighting against it come around in the long run and go, hey, actually, that worked really, really well. They're, they, they're like converts to gameful learning. Um, and then, but I would say the majority, especially high school or younger students are like right on, and they'll replay quests that they don't do, or they're looking for secret things um, you know, there's war poles, there's all kinds of stuff in there that, that are secret, um, there's secret things they can get, books, you know, uh, beast brain mode uh, that ups their intelligence and cast spells better for them. It's very, very deep and very fun. Um, so if anybody wants access, any of you that are tutoring this class, if you want access, just contact me and I'll send you free access. It's a subscription that lasts for a semester and then uh, expires. Um, and again, once again, everything is web-based. I recommend using Google Chrome to play, uh, but everything is web-based so that you can play from multiple locations. It saves to the cloud, which is, which was a, a big win for, for Gamify to be able to, to do that. It's not a local save, it saves to the cloud. So um, that's, that's, that's some pretty big stuff be, to be able to do um, and to offer the students, um, you know, be having it be cloud-based gaming. Um, if there's no multiplayer interaction, so there's, there's, um, I might integrate that later on, but for now there's not. Um, um, but, uh, yeah, so that's the basics. Have any questions? Email me. I'm always love you tutors and I'm always here to help you help them. Okay. All right. Olson K. Actually, uh, depending on my, where I'm teaching, it could be Olson K at MJC.edu or Kurt.olson at MCCD.edu. Okay.